Hi guys, all right, here's another math lesson for you. Um, we're gonna continue working on coins and adding coin values, but also working on adding two digit numbers together and adding three or four of them in a number string or an equation. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. So what are we doing? We will add coin values in a number string or equation of three or four numbers. How? Using our place value addition strategies, so we'll work on breaking the numbers into tens and ones. And why? In order to solve real world problems that prepare us for purchasing items and counting money. Okay, so I'll show you a couple different strategies and you can pick the one that is best for you that you like. Um, we'll go from there, okay? So I have some items here. You can pause the screen at any time and go shopping yourself. Pick the items that you would like to purchase and add the value of them together. So right here, I've decided that I'm gonna buy these shoes for 85 cents, what a deal. Um, this soccer ball for 42 cents and this puzzle for 20 cents. Essentially, this becomes my equation. So I would write 85 plus 42 plus 20. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these numbers and I'm going to break them down into tens and ones. Now, if you'd like to do it this way, I want you to think about what coins you would use for this. Okay. So 85 cents, you can have 25. 50, 60, 70, 80, 85 cents, okay? So this is sort of a challenge. You can identify what coins you need, okay? So I have two quarters, three dimes, and a nickel, okay? Well, I also have 42. So I know that that's another four dimes, four groups of 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, Phew, lots of coins. And then 20 is my two groups of 10, so 10, 20, okay? All right, so I have all of my coins out here and I can use that to help me add. So I'm gonna show you this way first and then I'll, we'll break it down on our equation. So I'm gonna find all of my tens okay so i have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 okay so i have 90 and i know that this is 25 50 this is 50 cents okay so using my tens i know that i have nine how many groups of ten nine and then five, nine plus five is 14. So I have 140 cents, okay? And then I still have my five, six, seven. So my 40 plus my seven is 140 cents, okay? Now, we'll go back and look at how that um, can translate into dollars. All right, so if I have 147 cents, I know that 100 cents is actually $1. So what I have is a dollar and 47 cents. Okay, but we'll, we'll, we'll look at that later. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear this off. Um, if you like to do it that way, that's fine. Uh, but I want you to also look at how you can write equations this way. Okay, so we'll go back to it this way. I have 85 plus 42 plus 20. Okay, and we're going to go in and we're going to break this down into our groups of tens and ones. So we've been breaking our numbers down into our groups of tens and our ones. Breaking it down, which is exactly what we did with our coins. Okay, but you can do it this way as well. So I know that I have eight groups of ten. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, plus the four, 90, 100, 110, 120, and then I have my two here, 130, 140. 
So I can count my groups of 10, 140, okay? And then I have my ones, can't forget your ones. I have five ones, one, two, three, four, five, plus my two ones, six, seven. So 140 plus seven equals 147 cents. And if you want to just keep it in cents right now, that's fine, okay? But just keep in mind that we know that 100 cents gives me a dollar. Basically like that, right? I have 100 cents, which is a dollar and 47 cents left over. Okay? All right. Swipe your boards. Pick a new piece of paper. And here you go. So now you can choose the next items that you would like to purchase. So maybe I want some flowers for my mom and... Maybe I'll bake her some cookies. And you know what? Let's stick with the food, shall we? She likes hot chocolate, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay. 65 plus 12 plus 50. All right. So write your equation. 65 plus 12 plus 50 equals. Okay. All right, so we'll we'll do it both ways, okay? So I'll go up here first, and we know, okay, 65 cents. So I have 25, 50, 60, 65. So 25, 50, plus 10 is 60, plus 5 is 65. Okay, and then I have 12, which is a group of 10, 11, 12, and then I have 50. I could do five tens, or I could also just do, I know my quarters, 25, 50. Okay, so looking at this already, I have four quarters, 25, 50, 75, 100. So I know right there I have 100 cents, so I already have a dollar. Okay, then I need to count my tens. So I've got 10, 20. All right, can I keep going? I can make my number string and keep going. 20 plus 5, 6, 7, plus 7. So 127 cents. And remember, I already have 100. So if I come in here, I know that my 100 would give me a dollar already. Okay, so $1.27 cents. Okay, all right, let's do it the other way. All right, so I still have my 65, my flowers, cents 12, cents for my cookies, and 50 cents for the hot chocolate. Okay, and I'm gonna write my equation this way. So 65 plus 12 plus 50 equals, okay. All right, so now we're gonna break it up into tens and ones. Okay, so I'm going to break my 65 into 10s and 1s, my 12 into 10s and 1s, and my 50 into 10s and 1s, okay? All right, so I'm going to add all my 10s first here. So I've got 6 groups of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, plus another 10, 70, plus 5, 80, 90, 100, 110. 120, and then I have my five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So all together, I can help you count it again. So you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, and then plus my seven is 127. 127 cents. <clears throat> and remember, we know that that can also be written I have one dollar, it's one hundred cents, and twenty-seven cents. Okay, one dollar and twenty-seven cents. That's pretty cheap. I can get a lot of stuff <laughs> for just a little bit of money. Only wish that that was actually true, right? All right. So here is this screen again. If you want to pause it, go ahead and pick your own items, and you can try it yourself.